Well, if you are one of the people looking forward to this money as a lifeline, now's the time to sit down and think about how you'll use it. We know there's a lot of uncertainty everywhere, and many of you may have lost your jobs. So joining me now is Melinda Bowles with Bowles Financial Group out of Temple. She is on the phone with me. Hey, Melinda. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Okay, so what's the first thing people should do with their stimulus checks if they have lost their jobs? Well, I think the first thing that they need to do is they really need to go ahead and just stick that into the savings account, take a moment and really, really assess where their financial situation is now and really project out the next six months. By doing this, they can get, they can give purpose to this money. Um, I really believe that financial decisions made quickly in emergency type situations usually have regrets later. So just take their time with, with uh, spending it. Absolutely. So putting it in the savings account to, um, to, to, to reflect on what they need to do next. Well, what about debt? Should people be trying to pay down the debt with the stimulus money? Well, I've been seeing the stimulus money uh, primarily as that emergency money or the extension of your emergency money and not really pay off debt money. But in some, sense, in some situations, if you have a really large revolving debt payment and balance that could be dismissed because like a credit card and that payment is really, help, is really making it struggle with your monthly budget, then it might make sense to take, pay off that type of a debt. But I think the money needs to be need, uh, used for basic needs like food, shelter, water, health first. And then, you know, I think some of our debt obligations, we might be able to negotiate maybe postponing some payments. So it certainly wouldn't hurt to, to reach out and call and ask to see if you can negotiate your payments during the next couple of months to make sure that your credit won't be hurt by not making payments. And you said, you know, use it for food, shelter, the basic necessities right now. What about then funding your emergency savings accounts, that cushion that so many people need? Well, I guess you have to define what your cushion is because my definition of a fully funded emergency fund would be at least six months of income and an extra in a savings account has never hurt anyone but only helped them. Um, you know, and you can never have too much of a cushion when the next six months is unpredictable. And the word unpredictable is what I'm focusing on is because we don't have the answers Therefore, you don't move forward. And I've always used that approach is to make sure that all the questions have been answered before you make that next decision. So you may have a job today, but what if you get laid off in three months? Your cushion could be gone very quickly if loss of income continues for too long. Absolutely. And Melinda, last question. Looking at the big picture, what should people be doing with their financial life right now? Leslie, that's a great question. I think people should be reviewing their financial household situation and writing down a budget. And I call this on paper on purpose. Writing a budget is not fun. It's sometimes painful. But as a holistic advisor, it is the one tool that will help with all tough decision making that you may have to have over the next six months. And, and kind of trust me on this, purpose on a uh, Purpose on paper will direct you to confident, educated decision making. And just because the environment has changed over the last couple of months, the advice is still there. I mean, the good advice of, of having your financial reserves in place is so very important when you're going through financial hard times. Absolutely. Melinda, thank you so much for all of that uh, very important information, and thanks for talking with us. Thanks for allowing me to share my perspective. Have a great one.